there's another one. Alex and I, if you guys don't know, we live in Florida, and if you watch the news, you know that stuff is about to get cray. There is a Category 5 hurricane coming, Hurricane Irma. Thank you. And there's also like two other hurricanes, like one two punch. It's about to it's about to get us hard, regardless of what path it takes. I love all the spaghetti maps that are that are coming up and I'll put one on. They're they're fun to watch, but kind of terrifying. So um we are at the commissary on base. Alex, if you don't know, he was in the military, so we we have base access. And I was at Target yesterday. The shelves are so bare, Costco. I mean, people are like flooding in those places and the shelves are just bare because everyone is kind of starting to panic, be, you know, coming off of Houston and Harvey and everything that happened over there. So people are, I mean, not to mention, it's a category five hurricane. So um, yeah, people, people are starting to worry about how it's going to affect us. So we thought we'd come here and stock up, hopefully, they have some stuff for us. We're gonna find out. There it is, empty as can be. Oh. Well, at least we have spam left. What? Kim, you wanna get some top ramen? No one seemed to have touched that. <laughs> well, there's spam and top ramen left. Where people would die of high cholesterol. I do my two favorite foods. Lime shrimp and shrimp. <laughs> Which flavor do you want? Chop ramen, baby. What do you think about where what do you think all this craziness? I'll tell you what, it's crazy. So much excitement going on. Apocalypse! <laughs> the good news is all the hur oh, hurricane candy, all the Halloween candy is out. <laughs> Let's see here. Look at that. Just look at it. Halloween candy hidden in the freezer section. Spooky tree. Look at that guy. Whoa, it's like a 3D. I just heard someone say they ran out of water. They just ran out of water. Oh no. We got lucky. The bread section is out as well. Looks like they're stocking it up though, so that's good. That is the line to get water. Just water, nothing else. All these people waiting their turn patiently. There's Alex. Oh man, he's happy we got water. Are you happy we got water even though it cost us an arm and a leg? $12 a case. That's because crazy. Because it it's per bottle because they ran out of cases, you know? That is crazy. But some bottles are a dollar because they're like the fancy ones yeah. with the flip top. Yep. Either way, we got lucky and we have water, so we're happy. We got here right on time, no line. Right, buddy? Oh man, and we got a case of MREs. Right. If you don't know, it's ready to eat meals or meals ready to yeah, eat right. MRE. So here's our case. 100 bucks for 12. A per 12. 12 meals. Well, if you think about it, one night out to eat is 100 yeah. bucks. Yeah, when I go out to eat, I really want an MRE. <laughs> they say to, um, you know, stock up on foods that are high in calories, and MREs are like 2,000 calories a meal. I mean, they're for, you know, soldiers who are like in the desert and they need to survive off of that one meal so we'll be we'll be good where are you gonna put all those
Okay, so I will say I like the fact that people are lining up outside oh like civilized God. human beings. She will occur. Jeez. You will punk. Watch this. Watch how much watch how much he loves the steering wheel. He'll freak out. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a tight grip on that. <laughs> like, Wentworth, why do you like it so much? You think you can go somewhere? <laughs> Well, punk. I'm glad that we came and that we thought about coming early. And that your husband's a beast. And that Alex is a beast. I was and grabbing he him by two. And those cases of water. I got him two, ca two cases at a time. <laughs> so crazy. Mostly yeah. elderly people I push out of the way. <laughs> oh my God. I'm, I'm glad that they had water left. And they keep bringing it in like little at a time, I'm assuming, because they're just getting it from whatever back supply that they have. But hopefully all those people in line get the water that they came for slash whatever they came for. Their, their you know, bread and every other dry food section was bare. So I'm glad we got a box of MREs. What about yeah. you? Afterthoughts? Um, we came, we saw, we conquered, right? Came, we saw. We conquered. <laughs> now we're going to let Wentworth drive home. <laughs> Don't forget your seatbelt, buddy. <laughs> Alex just now thought... Wait, we don't have any supplies. Like, oh, we like emergency water. supplies. So he said, what, are we going to live off water and MREs? It's going to keep us safe. But we have flashlights at home. I think we have batteries. Maybe. But we definitely have candles. We have a, like, little generator. What is that? It's a little... Um, like a baby generator kind it, of thing? It's, it's like a portable battery that you can charge your phones in and everything. It's got a USB plug and all that. We'll show you. We'll show them. So we've got that. I mean, we're good We're good enough to the point where, like, we'll survive. Because if something does happen, it's not going to wipe us out. I mean, unless we have to, like, evacuate. But if our power and stuff is down, they say to um, plan for three days. And I think, I think we've got that covered. Yeah. You think we got that? I think we're I, good. I was just... So, anyway... Thanks for hanging out with us. We might stop somewhere on the way home to see if we can get, like, maybe Costco, but I doubt it. I was talking to a few friends yesterday, and they said that they were at Costco. People were like, the lines were really long to get gas. The shelves, again, bare. People were, like, fighting over waters. One more thing to add. If you are planning for your own, you know, three-day blackout, uh, make sure you have medicine. Yep. Make sure you stock up and refill your medicine. That's right. Time. Oh, and I heard uh, on a community on um, this community discussion board that we have uh, for our community that we we um, before, in our community. Yeah, right. Right before the hurricane hits, you're supposed to fill your bathtub with water. Yeah, well, clean it obviously, and then yeah. fill it up with water and any like sinks you have. You know, that's just that's stuff that you like learn just growing up in Florida. But I was told like the simple way to do things. I was told if a hurricane comes through or a tornado comes through, you're supposed to get inside of your tub and put your mattress over you. That's what I was told growing up. I thought that was like tornado. You're supposed to go in a room with no windows. So like our bathroom is the only room without a window. And so that's why, and they say to take cover. So like your bathtub right. with a mattress, it's a perfect, perfect solution. Or like a doorway. That's like a, that's a earthquake thing, I think. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, stay safe. I hope if you live in Florida, you're staying safe. Hopefully we stay safe and dry. We're gonna track this thing for the next few days and I mean it's so massive no matter which way it goes. It's gonna be we're huge. Gonna, we're gonna Tampa. get something. It's gonna be huge. To put it in perspective, Harvey was a hurricane two three. I think it reached a three. And this is a or a hurricane three. A category three. This is a category five. So the wind is like 180 miles per hour. Can it's blowing my mind. And hey, how, how's this wind? That's like that's like half a mile per hour, but it's pretty smells. good, huh? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> smells fresh, minty fresh. I don't know, it's just crazy. It's it's mayhem, really, is what it is. I mean, people are so on edge because of Hurricane Harvey. Oh, and what I was saying before is Harvey dumped a lot of rain, like a lot of flooding, but they're not expecting that in Florida. They're expecting, like, the wind to just kind of ruin our houses, basically, and just, it's gonna pass by quickly. It's, it's um, expected to pass by within, like, a day, within 24 hours, but it's such a strong hurricane that they say our houses might be in danger of like, you know, 
because the wind is so strong. Can you imagine? It's crazy. Let's tell them about our homeowner's insurance, what happened there. So basically, we bought the house in June of last year, and they didn't have our wind mitigation uh, form. So what they did is they canceled our insurance without notifying us. So since September, we didn't have any insurance. And just recently, this month, we finally got homeowner's insurance. But the best thing is, because we weren't paying insurance, because we got it canceled on us, we have to go back and pass pay, back pay all of that homeowner's insurance at a premium. So instead of $1,000 a year is what we're paying, now we have to pay $2,000 a year. It is crazy. I asked, is this even legal? Are you allowed to do this? And they said that they were allowed to do that. So, and what are we supposed to do? Fight against the insurance company? Yeah. So anyways, but we are fortunate that we finally have homeowner's insurance this month and now all of this is going on. So crazy. it's pretty crazy. So crazy. Well, it looks like the line has simmered down. Yeah, it definitely has until the next bunch of people come. It's 10 in the morning, so. I mean, unless they ran out of water and they're just like, hey, no, and then people stopped waiting because there's nothing to wait for. Man. Could you imagine? So Kim was gonna be nice enough to let me sleep in, but I was like, no, we're, I should, we should go, go now yeah. just in case they run out of water. I'm glad we did. came. Yeah. The good thing too is that, I know this vlog is like carrying on, but the good thing too is that we still have a few days before the hurricane hits. Today's Wednesday, and it's not supposed to hit till Sunday, so there's still time for like shipments to come to Florida to help us prepare for it, you know, unless like, you know, they have like mandatory evacuation for the entire state. I saw a meme that was like, sorry guys, Florida's closed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was so funny. Oh. And oh, wait, wait, we saw another one that was like, uh, excuse me, Houston, can we have our supplies back? <laughs> <laughs> you should put that one up. Um, I just heard yesterday that there's no tolls. You, nobody has to pay any tolls right now. You can go, you can ride on the highway with no tolls. Wow. So we'll, we'll see if that's true on our way home. We'll take the we'll, highway. We'll take the veterans yeah. on the way home. <laughs> Get to save a big whopping three bucks. Right, but every right. dollar matters. That, every dollar matters. I mean, that's nice of them though, because I know a lot of people are evacuating. Key West had to completely evacuate, which is just nuts. It's nuts So. All right, my arm is getting tired. My triceps are about to give out. They look good. They look good. <laughs> so, uh, I think we're gonna end it here unless we stop by someplace on our way home, which is, we, we don't know yet. But um, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for all the well wishes because I know we're gonna get a lot of those. And I hope we stay safe. So we'll see in the upcoming days. Um, I will be active on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, I'll be there. <laughs> You're right, buddy. Wentworth is still sick, You're all but right, he's buddy. getting better every day. So yeah, we'll be there. For all the viewers in Florida, we hope you're My safe. Arm. And uh, yeah, yeah, you know, definitely get your water, fill up your gas. I'm shaking. But it is what it is. I'm just trying to lead this on so her arm uh, continues <laughs> to get tired. Bye guys. It looks pale. We light. hope you stay safe. <laughs> I'm losing blood circulation. Where does it start? Look at all those people trying to get gas. The gas truck's <gasps> right there. <laughs> the gas truck's like, let me through. I'll fill you guys up. <laughs> On our way home, we decided to stop at Trader Joe's to see if they have any brownies because we can't survive a hurricane without a special delicious treat like <laughs> brownies. Oh, Go. chocolate almond corn. I want all of this stuff, all of it. We came for brownies, Alex's favorite, but they're not, I can't find them anywhere. So, I got some lemon bites instead. <laughs> and some coconut strips for Wentworth. Keep it for coconut. You'll never have enough. <laughs> Gotta stock up for hurricane, you know what I mean? Shelf stable, freeze dried bananas, they're the best. And now here at Trader Joe's, a lot of the shelves are empty. They're completely out of waters. All right, what do you got? Wentworth, what do you got, they buddy? cauliflower crust. That is weird. That's awesome. Oh, he is not happy. You're not happy about it, are you? Oh, just okay, this is a good thumbnail. They have no brownies. <laughs> All right, cookie cats for the kids. At least they have those in stock. Almond windmill cookies? Wait, they look like windmills? Look at that! Oh, that's cool! That is cool. That's definitely like an old person candy, for sure. <laughs> I like them. I'd eat them. What did that say? Toll suspended by the order of the governor. There that's you pretty go. good. So, $3 saved. 
well, we're not home yet. It'll be a whole nother <laughs> 75 cents. For real though, I know we keep joking and making light of the situation, but I understand why the tolls are suspended. We just like to make jokes. Like, you know, if people need to evacuate, it's important that they need to not worry about having to pay tolls, and we appreciate that fact. Keep a positive attitude, keep your humor during times like this. This isn't a time to be all upset and angry and take it out in the world. Just okay. kind of be uplifted, just, you know, make jokes. Prepare for the worst, but what's that saying? Expect, expect desire the best, I don't know. Prepare hope for, for the best, prepare hope for the best. worst and hope for the best. That's what we're doing. They're all boarded up here. Look at that. Just they look at it. They are definitely prepared. We need to do that. No, we don't. All right, so we are home now, and I wanted to uh, mention or talk about kind of the severity of the storm. And, like, as we watch all of the news, all the media, and then social media on top of that, and just being out and seeing everyone kind of freak out basically uh, you know there there is a sense of like panic out there you know uh there are some people who like legitimately can't find water anywhere there's people who um like don't have enough gas in their car if they needed to evacuate i mean there's like lines at the gas station it's it really is crazy and um it's real like there's a sense of like holy cow this is really happening and it's kind of scary and I don't know if it's like, I mean obviously it's not man-made fear because this storm, Mother Nature's storm is coming and you know, just watching the headlines of like natural disaster and potentially catastrophic, you know, it's, it makes it real and it makes it kind of scary, but you will live through it. I lived in Florida for almost my whole life. And we've been lucky enough to never have been affected by a hurricane. How about you? Have you ever been affected? Nope. Alex hasn't either. So we've been really lucky. So I feel like maybe it's the location that we're in, Tampa. Um, we haven't really had any, like, massive destruction from any kind of storm thus far. Even though I know they're saying that um, Hurricane Irma is the largest. Is that right? The, the largest documented in history like Atlantic hurricane so I don't know the headlines are, are pretty uh, jolting if you will but we're gonna keep an eye on them for the next few days and hopefully I'm hoping that it like takes a what what is this I'm not dabbing like a, a strong turn to the right, to the east, because I, that would be best for us. Um, but, you know, the spaghetti graphs are, it's like headed straight over Florida, and it's so large, it's going to consume the entire state. I mean, it's huge. But anyway, we will keep you posted. Like I said before, I know I said like 10 minutes ago that I was going to end the vlog, and then we just kept going. But I thought I would mention that, and... Yeah, hopefully we stay safe. If you live in Florida, I hope you stay safe and dry, and I hope your house stays intact. Alex and I were talking about boarding up our windows and stuff. Uh, we're just going to watch the storm and see what happens, see the projected path, and go from there. But for now, we're not going to do any of that. We're just going to enjoy the rest of our day, and I hope you do the same. And we'll see you soon. Bye.